afternoon guys, welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to another recipe video. Now while this one might seem, you know, maybe two weeks early at least, <laughs> I want to share with you guys today three ways to use up any leftover chocolate you have lying around. This video was requested and while I know that some of you out there might be a bit like me in that you don't really understand the concept of leftover chocolate. <laughs> For a lot of people, it can be something that they really want to find something to do with. Whether it's just after Christmas or whether it's just after Easter or any kind of big event that has left you with a surplus of chocolate, that you might not really want to face for a number of reasons. First of all, there might just be too much and the thought of eating that much just plain milk or dark chocolate might just be a bit too much for you. Secondly, maybe you prefer to eat your chocolate in other things so that it's a bit of a kind of lighter experience or even something just a little bit texturally different from eating plain chocolate as it is. Or thirdly, you may wish to kind of make the chocolate go a little bit further. So instead of it just being a snack for you as it is, you could make it into a whole batch of muffins or a filthy hot chocolate or even some classic but kicked up a notch nostalgic afternoon treats. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to do any of those things. I'm going to be starting off by showing you guys how to make a truly filthy hot chocolate out of your leftover chocolate. So that if you prefer drinking your sweets while the weather is still a little bit cold outside, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Secondly, we're going to be jazzing up a kind of classic school kid treat in those Easter chocolate nests, but we're going to be doing it so much better. And thirdly, and finally, I'm going to show you guys how to make a batch of classic chocolate chip vanilla muffins that can serve as a breakfast, a snack, and can feed at least eight people with just one kind of handful of leftover chocolate. Without further ado, let's get into the first recipe. So you're going to want to start by just grabbing yourself a little mug and break up any of those little kind of bits and pieces of leftover chocolate you have straight into the mug. The smaller you break them up, the kind of easier they will melt. And trust me, this recipe is so much better than any kind of hot chocolate made with powder. So with a little bit of hot milk, whether you've heated it up either in a pan or in a microwave, whatever you have, just pour a little bit, just enough to cover that chocolate. You're going to want to leave it to stand for a minute and then you're just going to give it a gentle stir with a spoon. Eventually it will start to melt kind of smoothly into that milk and get all nice and creamy. At that point, just keep stirring as you add the rest of your hot milk and watch it turn into this beautifully creamy and super chocolatey hot chocolate with no dusty powder bits. Top it with a little bit of either squishy cream, whipped cream, whatever you have. In my opinion, the softer the better because it helps it melt in. Then you can add just a few more little bits and pieces of those chocolate shards that you didn't quite fit into the cup. Just pile them on. The, the more ridiculous it looks, the better, to be honest. It's going to make it look so much more appealing. It's just, it's good fun. And it may overflow a little bit, but honestly, tell me you don't want to taste that. When the cream starts to melt in and that chocolate's fully in there, it's just, it's so, so good. It's so pretty too. It's just, I think it's just a really great way to use up that chocolate in a way that is just as good as eating it plain. Obviously, you're going to get cream all over your face as you have this, but to be honest, there are worse things to happen in life. It's just a good time, to be honest. So the second recipe I'm going to be showing you guys how to make are these classic Easter treats, these little kind of chocolate nests. Now, in a kind of classic way, you would make these either with cornflakes or frosties or something like that, or even Rice Krispies. Make them into little nests just with some chocolate and shove the mini eggs on top. This is a more kind of grown up version. It's sort of a cross between a classic cornflake nest and rocky road. You've got a blend of textures, it's a bit more of a substantial snack, and it's one that you can make in literally minutes. Let's go. So the first thing you're going to want to do, rather obviously, is grab your chocolate, whether it's leftover Easter egg or normal chocolate, and you're going to want to melt it with some butter, just very, very gently and stir it together. And don't forget to look out some chocolate eggs for topping these. Now, I used a mix of granola, Biscoff biscuits, marshmallow and honeycomb pieces, but whatever you really have, just get it all tossed up in that melted chocolate and butter recipe, and then gently spoon it into some little paper cases. I just use some muffin cases to make them a bit bigger, but you can use whichever kind you like. Even the silicon or kind of foil types that you get would work just as well. Now you're going to want to make a tiny little dimple in the middle of your little rocky road nest to shove those little chocolate eggs on top, obviously. Wouldn't be a nest without any eggs in it, it would just be a mess. Um, 
but then you are just basically going to want to let those set this shouldn't take too long either in the fridge or on a cold windowsill and they should just be these lovely little chunky bits of chocolate that you can get your teeth straight into for a gorgeous combination of chew of crunch of melt it's much like the hot chocolate it's just a good time and you're definitely going to finish more than one in one sitting I promise. <laughs> the third recipe I'm sharing with you guys today is to make these classic chocolate chip vanilla muffins, proper bakery style muffin top muffins. This is such a simple recipe, you just need to mix some wet ingredients into some dry ingredients, chuck in your chocolate and bake it for less than half an hour and you'll have some gorgeous muffins. Let me show you how to do that. Starting with the dry ingredients, we have some flour, some sugar, a pinch of salt, some baking powder and some bicarbonate of soda. In this jug we have oil, buttermilk, an egg and just a little bit of vanilla that we're about to kind of whisk up. We're going to chuck our chocolate straight into the dry ingredients first. Coating it in the flour just helps them not to sink once the muffins are baked. Trust me, it's a great little tip. Next, you're just going to whisk up those wet ingredients until they are relatively smooth and a bit less gross looking. Then you're going to pour it just right into the center of your dry ingredients. Just gently fold those together. You don't want to mix like crazy or to beat all the air out of it. Just super gently until it's just combined into a kind of lumpy mixture. Then I like to use an ice cream scoop just to pop them into their little cases. It's the easiest way. Then you just wanna to top them with any other little straggly bits of leftover chocolate you might have as a bit of a kind of decorative touch. They should look something like this at this point. The chocolate doesn't have to be that chunky if you just have wee crumbs and bits instead. And after baking in a hot oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, they should look golden, risen, and a bit like this, to be honest, with a big, juicy muffin top looking golden brown, nicely dispersed with that chocolate all the way through, nice and fluffy in the center. They should be just a little bit vanilla in flavor with that chocolate still nice and distinguishable in those big chunks. These are perfect for breakfast, they're perfect for a snack. I just, yeah, they're good. And that is it for three ways to use up your leftover chocolate. As I said, whether it's from gifts, whether it's from Christmas, from Easter, or just any time when you found yourself accumulating lots of little bits of leftover kinds of chocolate. I hope some of these can give you a little bit of inspiration or some ideas to use up that chocolate if you can't face eating it all yourself. But of course, don't forget to leave me your tips in the comments below because people do really have some genius ways of kind of upcycling ingredients like this. If you guys enjoyed the video, do consider subscribing if you haven't already. Don't forget to utterly smash that like button if your chocolate fingers are too chocolatey. <laughs> but I'm afraid that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I have some recycling to do and a lot of eating to do. So I will see you for the next one. Oh, hey, if you've made it to this channel, you probably like cookies, no matter what kind of shape or crazy size they decide to come in, or maybe you like making them too or just licking the bowl when you are making them. Either way, you are in luck because no matter whether you like them crispy, super thin, chewy, nice and soft, or just downright huge, I have just launched the ultimate guide to cookie baking, available on Etsy or to my glorious Patreon people right now.